Okay, guys, seems I forgot to do a video. What I wanted to do was we did a video with the stock valve sizes and stock valve sizes and a bowl blend versus upping the valve sizes, but no bowl blend. Okay, seems the bowl blend was the winner on that one, as I remember. So what we do is we take the upped valve sizes and we do a bowl blend on them. Now these have actually been more than bowl blended because I forgot to do the video after I, after I flowed them. So what we need to compare is the original two flows versus what we did, the oversized valves and a bowl blend. Just to give you guys, you DIY guys, an idea of what you can expect. Okay, now since these are these are GT forty three bar heads, these are nice heavy castings. They weigh like fifty plus pounds each, and uh, there is quite a bit of metal on them. You guys can take probably. I don't want to guarantee, but you could take a hundred thousand off pretty much everywhere and not really worry. Um, of course, the Sonic gives you a better chance of not making them sprinklers. But you can get quite a bit done if you take a hundred thousands off. And even better if you know where to take it off. So let's take a quick look at our flows. I really don't think this is going to be a super long video. I mean, let's take a, a look at the bowl. Ignore the roof, because when I did the bowl blend, the roof wasn't really touched. Now the sides of the guides would be touched. And the bowl would be touched. And the short side would be rough. See how you can see I used an unbelievably rough texture on that to just take take huge amounts of iron out at one swath. Even at that, um, I did time how long it took the bowl blend. 22 minutes for an intake and an exhaust bowl. Just the bowl. As a matter of fact... This bowl that I'm showing isn't even done because this edge hasn't been touched. I'm um, pretty sure I, I I flowed this one, but I didn't clean this one. I should have paid attention. But you can tell the radius did have some work on it. And looks like the exhaust, I went over it with a finer burr after I roughed it out. So that's how it was flowed. The intake was flowed with this really rough texture. Okay, guys, let's take a look at it. Now, this is the 1.85. I did a 14.5-minute bowl blend on it. This one has been upped to the bigger valves, valve sizes, and add another two, 22 minutes just to do the bowl, just to do the bowl blend after you oversize the valves. So these pluses and minuses are in reference to these. How does it like it? Now, you can consider bowl blend to bowl blend. What does it do upgrading the valve size? Usually, it tends to boost up our low-end flows. Let's see how we did. Plus, plus, minus, minus, minus. This one had a whistle. W means a whistle. Not necessarily good. But it was flowing more with the whistle than with that. We got 89.791. It's not a big difference, but it's a difference. Plus, plus, plus. We did have noise when she started separating across the short side, but we're up. Are we up a huge amount? Not really. Not really. Overall, is it a winner? Yeah, it's a winner. It's definitely worth putting a bigger valve in it. There's no question in my mind. These castings, max valve size is about 194. If you really wanted to get fancy, you could probably shrink the exhaust and... Okay, part two. I'm going to have to splice these. Don't ever hit the wrong button. If you take a look, it's going to be tough for me to show you. But if you really wanted to, our valve seat is right here. It's wider than it would be when I'm done with it because it's just a roughed out valve seat. Okay, here's our top cut. Our top cut intersects. It actually doesn't even make it. But if you wanted to, you could bring this right out to this seat. Okay? And put a little bit bigger intake valve in. 
the problem with the Fords is you see this, this actually is like missing metal right here. If they added a little more metal, you could do it. But in reality, 194s are the largest practical you can get away with on uh, standard guard spacing small block Fords, to my knowledge. Okay, top page is the 185. We're going to be comparing these air speeds to these air speeds. I'm not going to put pluses and minuses on it because it's just a little too confusing. Up, up, up. We're moving more air. The pinch is going to get faster. Makes sense. The bigger valve and the blow and the bowl blend make the roof come alive. We got a wider discrepancy between both sides. How about our short side? Up, up just a little, down a tiny bit. Okay, all of them are moving more air. Makes sense. Okay, looking at our exhausts, we're going to go 1.54 stock GT43 bar. Exhaust valve size with a bowl blend. That's these numbers here. Verse, upping it to a 1.6 Ferreira with a bowl blend. We get all positives. We do have some noise at some point. All positives until we hit 0.35. And then we go negative. And we go negative pretty good. You know, we're topping out almost about almost seven less than just the bowl blend with the smaller valve. It's interesting, right? This is all working better. You got more area open quicker, and that works until. How can I say that? Oh, made, you know what? I made a note here. Smooth. This port got very quiet right after it lost it on the short side. It was, it was, act, I thought it would have done better than it did, actually. It sounded really good, but it flowed less. Let's see if we can figure out something by the air speeds. Okay, top page is the 1.85, so we're going to be comparing these exhaust air speeds to these exhaust air speeds. Up, down, up, 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 just a touch. Finally, the bottom comes alive a little bit. Up, up, up. It looks like it should be moving a ton more air, but it's not. We'll have to figure out why that is that way. It By the air speeds, it should be working better. It's quieter, but the CFM wasn't there. So, we have to figure out why it's not, why it's not working. And our next... Video after this is I'll be I'll be roughing the ports out and then flowing them, so there'll be every bit of the port will be touched, but it'll be super rough texture, and we'll see how bad it is. All right, guys, I almost forgot to show you the swirls, which is interesting, right? So this has got the 22-minute bowl blend with the bigger valve. This is with the smaller valve. Take a look at what our swirls wound up doing, right? You put a bigger valve in. It's going to choke off one side of the chamber a little bit more. Right? you got more shrouding. It's going to cause the air to start to window out in a different area of the, of the chamber. Radical difference in swirl. Okay, you guys can fight over which, one, which curve is better. My opinion, which means absolutely nothing, I would take this curve better. We're running a street lift. Those are nice swirls. These right here, a little bit faster. We've got more all the way in here, which is going to hurt our filling. Okay, for this one, we're going to show 194, no porting, just cut into there, versus the 22-minute bowl blend. Is it worth 22 minutes of your time? We're going to find out. Minus, minus, minus doesn't even make sense, right? If the bowl was blended, you would think it would work better. But in reality, at the real low flows, I'd rather see those deep, sharp angles. Okay. Minus, 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 plus, equals. 
plus, 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 plus. We do have some noise around 500 when she starts to lose it. We had noise over here around the same area. Let's take a look at our airspeed and see if we can figure out what's going on. Okay, top page is oversized, no porting. So we're going to be com comparing these intake air speeds to these intake air speeds. Up, 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 down, down, up a touch, down quite a bit, down quite a bit. Okay, so that makes sense why it, it's gaining, but it didn't gain a whole lot. Okay, those, those air speeds are not not great in reference to these air speeds. These air speeds are more like what we want to see. Okay, so we're going to move on. Let's take a look at our swirls between the bowl blend and versus no bowl blend on 194. Okay, guys, sorry for the scribbles, but we got to change them from pluses to minuses. Uh, so these pluses and minuses and scribbles are in reference to this. This is no porting oversized valves. This is bowl blend. How do we do as far as our swirl? Plus, minus, 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 plus, minus, minus, plus, plus, minus, minus. Hit or miss. It's definitely changing. The shape of the bowl is changing where the air is exiting. Okay, and we saw that with the airspeed, so let's move on to our exhaust. Okay, left side, oversized valves, no porting. So this is just uh, a deep throat cut and send it. Verse, am I doing that right? Yeah, this is the oversized valve, one six, no back cut, ball blend. So you would think they'd be all pluses, but they're not. Plus, I'm sorry guys. Minus, plus, plus with some noise. Not a big plus. Plus, 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 plus. Then it gets quiet, but we're actually losing. Now, I have a mistake here. Sorry guys, got distracted. Forgot to put the rest of those pluses in. But we definitely start to gain a small amount over the straight cuts in the bowl. All right, let's take a look at our airspeed, see if we actually made a decent improvement or not. Okay, top page, no porting. These exhaust airspeeds in reference to these. This has got the bowl blend on it. These are all taken at 0.6 inch lift. So this went down a touch, down a touch, up a touch. This got better. Plus. Nice plus. Nice plus in the mid-range. Now, this does have a really, really rough texture, almost radius to the seat. That's important to mention. Up, up, up. Looks like it should be moving a ton more air than this one, but it's really not. It's only moving a few CFM more. All right, guys. I'm going to have to have uh, these two videos patched together. And I got to get hot because it's Sunday and I got a ton to do. All right, guys. Hope you like this. Give the uh, DIY guys an idea of how far you got to go to get some decent numbers. Um. No porting, oversized valves. Uh, me, you know, you know me. I would definitely do at least a ball blend. Probably not. I'd probably fully port it. So actually, it would be interesting to see how much full porting is going to be over this without all my textures and stuff. Just really rough it out and see. I bet it's not going to gain that much over this doing the whole port because the rest of the port doesn't have as much of an effect as the short side and the bowl and the valve job does. We're going to find out. All right, guys. Give me an idea how much power you can make out of this oversized valve bowl blend setup. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.